Today I'm going to show you one of the coolest things that Apple has released in a really long time. It's called Universal Control and this is how you do it. So first and foremost I want to let you know that you have to have a specific operating system or specific version of the operating system for Mac OS and a specific version of the iPad OS operating system as well. So for iPad, I'm on 15.4.1. It's the latest version of the iPad OS software. And for Mac OS, I am on Mac OS Monterey 12.3.1. I'm using my M1 Max MacBook Pro and my iPad Pro 11 to do this, but you can use this with uh, any of the newer iPads. I'm not really sure what year, but as long as you can update to 15.4.1, then this should be possible for you. And as far as Mac OS is concerned, as long as I believe a, you're at 2017, you have a 2017 or 2018 machine or higher that can update to 12.3.1, then I think you're good to go. So first and foremost, what exactly is universal control? Well, the Apple support page says that universal control allows you to use a single keyboard and a mouse between Mac and iPad. So in essence, you can use your iPad with the existing keyboard and mouse peripherals that you have that you are using for your computer. So in essence, what that means is that you don't have to have a separate keyboard and mouse for the iPad. You can literally drag your mouse from the MacBook or the Mac screen or your monitor and drag it over and your mouse will magically appear on the iPad. It's actually super, super cool. And you can actually drag files to and from, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that as well. So first and foremost, you want to make sure that you turn on universal control. How do you do that? Well, you're going to go into system preferences and in system preferences, you're going to click on displays. So when you click on displays, you're going to see this button right here that says universal control. You're going to click on that and you're going to make sure that all three of these are check marked. Okay. So notice the word beta here. This is still in beta stage, so it's not going to work perfectly. In fact, uh, Apple's website right here says beta software is still a development. So some features might not work as expected. If you want your iPad to extend or mirror the desktop of your Mac, use sidecar instead. What a sidecar. I'll explain that in a different video. But for now, we're going to talk about universal control. So make sure to click these three, hit done, and then you should be good to go. Now, what you can also do is you see this little down arrow right here. You can click this and make sure that it sees, in my case, your iPad Pro. One thing that you need to be absolutely sure of is that your computer is on the same Apple ID as your iPad and then they're on the same Wi-Fi. Both of those things have to be true in order for this to work. If you're on the same iPad, but they have different usernames or they have different um, iCloud accounts attached to them, this will not work. If they have the same iCloud account attached, but they're on different Wi-Fi's for some reason or another, this will not work. Both of those things have to be in place in order for this to work. And now I'm going to show you how universal control works. So here's my mouse on my desktop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the left side of the screen here. And in fact, what you can do also in system preferences is this in displays, you can actually control where your iPad is going to be. So I can have it go underneath the screen. I can have it go to the left of the screen, or I can have it go to the right. For my purposes, I'm going to have it go to the left of the screen because my iPad is right here to my left right now. And I'm going to click out of this and watch what happens when I push my mouse all the way to the left of the screen on the desktop. It will magically appear right here on my iPad. So now I'm able to control my iPad using my keyboard and mouse. This is amazing. So watch, I can, uh, let's say, open up a note here, uh, start a new one and, and literally start typing and say, I am going to write a new note. Now I can take that exact same keyboard and mouse, run it back here and open up, let's say Safari and just start, I'm, I'm going to go to variety. Let's just say, and I want to look at the Dr. Strange review. Hopefully it's good. I'm uh, crossing my fingers on that one. And so same keyboard, same mouse using iPad OS and using Mac OS. It's really, really cool. And I absolutely love it. Now, one of the things that you can do with this is you can drag files back and forth. So I'm going to move my mouse back here to the iPad again. Look, here it is. I can actually minimize my screen here, get rid of all these, swipe them up right here. 
and let's say I have something from photos. Let's say I have this picture that I, uh, when I first got the iPhone 13, I was blown away by the uh, images that I could take with it. So I was getting super close up stuff of uh, leaves and trees and all that nature -y stuff that you do when you first get your phone and then like a week later you don't ever use it ever again. But uh, at that time I thought it was super cool. So I wanna take this picture and I just simply wanna drag it onto my desktop. Let's see if we can do that. So I'm gonna click on this, drag it and watch what happens when I take it to the right of the screen. Boom, there it is on my desktop. It's gonna transfer over and now I can open this and there it is. The coolest thing about this for me is the ability to control both your Mac and your iPad with the same keyboard and mouse. You don't have to have a specific keyboard for the iPad that you have to carry with you everywhere or you don't have to have a specific mouse. Use case scenarios for me is like having my email open on the iPad and having that be my designated you know, email client, messaging client, uh, maybe even Zoom conference thing because you know the camera on, on the iPad is much better than the camera on my Thunderbolt display. So maybe have that be my designated you know Zoom conferencing, web conferencing device. And then the Thunderbolt display, my, my, my desktop, is going to be more of my workspace, my Final Cut, my Logic, my Word document, uh, anything and everything that where I need to utilize that 27 inches of space that is where I'm going to be doing that. And then everything else, my, my email, uh, any iPad specific stuff, right? Like um, specific apps that I can't open in Mac OS or just look better in the iPad. Um, uh, Universal Control allows you to have that flexibility without compromising anything, which I just think is really, really cool. So that's how you do it. That's how you put it together. Make sure you have the latest version of iPad OS. Make sure you have the latest version of Mac OS and that these two can talk to one another. Again, super important that you're on the same iCloud username and on the same Wi-Fi in order for these two to work. My name is Amir. Thank you so much for watching this quick video on how to use the universal control. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.